Hello everyone. So last week we made, um, well I showed you how to make some soap and some face cream. So this week I'm just going to show you how to make a very simple dusting powder which feels really luxurious and soft and silky on the skin and um, it's a lovely natural alternative to talcum powder which we know now can can be harmful for some people depending on what else is mixed in with it I think. So um, and then we're approaching the festive season and people are celebrating the solstice, they're celebrating Thanksgiving, they're celebrating Christmas and there's lots of feasting. So some people may well suffer with digestive complaints. So I'm going to show you how to make a tincture, a formula using different herbs to relieve people's digestive complaints. And that's a little bit different because instead of taking one herb which will maybe address one one issue, we put together several herbs and that means we're addressing many issues. And of course you would do this, generally you would do this for the person rather than the symptoms. But if you just wanted to make something, just to have something handy, something that might help, it's a nice thing to do. So we'll start off with the dusting powder. So I'm going to put in here some arrowroot, some corn flour and a little bit of bicarbonate of soda. You could just use arrowroot but I like to mix it up a little bit and make it because different people have different skin types and different powders are going to be of benefit to different people. So I'm mixing it all up and I'm just putting in a tiny pinch there of the bicarbonate of soda. So that's all mixed up together as you can see. And then for me when I make it for myself I put in um, different herbs depending on the mood I'm in, uh, sorry not herbs, essential oils. So I've got here some patchouli which I really like especially when it's with rose or lavender. Much as I like floral essential oils I don't like them to be overpoweringly floral. So I'm putting in a little blend here of my own favorite preference but you can of course put in what you like. Put in a little bit of rosewood. So when you have your oils in just mix it all up again. Make sure you're kind of folding it in. You can't even see that I've put any oil in here. Mmm. So that's my little formula of essential oils. You could put anything in the, at all that you like yourself. And then simply put it into your container. And we'll just leave a little room in the top for a little puff to go in so that people can dab their puff in and then, you know, Put their, put their powder on. You can use this as well for um, an underarm deodorant and it's really lovely and luxurious. So it's, it's in a tight, airtight jar so the lovely aroma will not evaporate. So coming up to the festive season I have um, a plan to make some digestive tonics. So I'm going to pop into my apothecary now I'll just move these out of the way and I'm going to get some herbs that I think will be beneficial made into a formula to relieve people of digestive complaints. So we're not treating a particular person here. I'm thinking about the general types of complaints people get. So they may get indigestion. So I'm thinking of something that might stimulate their digestion. So I'm thinking of bitter herbs. They may have some kind of cramping going on or or you know gas and and um, wind and bloating. So those are kind of the main problems that people suffer from along with um, heartburn. So I have a few herbs that will remedy those situations and could be used by anybody to help get relief. 
They're not being made for a specific person because you may want to put other herbs in there to suit the whole person. But at least it would be something to just give some relief. So let's pop into the apothecary and see what I've got for um, digestive complaints over the festive season. So these are my finished remedies and I'm thinking of um, meadow sweet because meadow sweet is specifically for the stomach. It's going to help with stomach problems and it's a really good antacid. So it's going to help relieve heartburn. I'm going to put some dandelion in because that is such a good um tonic for the liver and the liver has so much to do with our digestion and it's also going to help with the digestion of fat and then I'm going to also put in some lemon balm because this is very soothing to the digestive system it's going to help relieve um, a buildup of gas so flatulence will be resolved, cramping will be resolved and it's also going to gently tone up those um, membranes of the digestive system. And also if somebody had a nervous tummy so to speak, lemon balm will help with that as well. You could make a formula for any body system, but I'm going to show you this one, which is for the digestive system, because we have a lot of festivities coming up. People are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, winter solstice, Christmas, Hanukkah, and who knows what else. Lots of festivities going around, and people will be visiting each other's houses, they're going on office parties, and there's lots of eating. So this is a really lovely formula because we've got lemon balm which is a carminative and it's slightly astringent so it's going to tone up the the mucous membranes in the digestive system make them work a little bit more efficiently but also calm things down people with a nervous tummy will benefit from lemon balm and it's also very good for relieving flatulence and bloating and then we've got dandelion that's going to help with the digestion of fats. So we're, we may be having greasy meals, greasy meats. We may be having lots of cream in desserts. And so the dandelion is going to help with that. And then meadow sweet is specific for the stomach. So it really benefits the stomach and it also can relieve heartburn. So these three combined may be perfect for somebody, but will certainly, they'll benefit everybody. So simple way to make a formula is just to combine all of these. That means instead of people taking a measure of this and a measure of that and a measure of this and really overdosing on the alcohol, when it's all combined in a formula, they just take the one dose and they're getting a bit of everything. So I have a 100 ml bottle here and I've got my little measuring jug. So I'm going to measure just around 30 ml of each of these remedies. So after harvesting your herbs, making your remedies, and then you're using your remedies, this is just another way to use your remedies and another way to be effective in helping people with their various issues. And when you're making a formula like this, you're not really making it for a specific person because you'd have to take a lot more into account. You'd have to consider how the person is sleeping and being and doing, eating, resting. So this is a kind of um, panacea for everybody. A little bit too much in there. 
So there's a hundred mil of a digestive aid. And I'm just going to put a label on. And I'm recommending one teaspoon before meals or in between meals. I find these herbs to be extremely beneficial, but if you have a recurring digestive issue, seek medical advice. So there we go, a lovely, a lovely little remedy which will, which will deal with most issues, especially over the festive season when we're overindulging. So I'm going to make a few more of those. So I'll talk to you next week. Have a great week and thanks for watching. Hey, you two. Hey. I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And have a look at the website, danusirishherbgarden.com, for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop, you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember, we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week.